Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudemir here again. Let's talk today about what is OnVIF and how you can use it with your security cameras. So let's start with an example so you can understand better. Here I have a guy, he's from German, and here I have another one from Brazil. They're trying to communicate and they're speaking different language, so the communication is not possible. So what they have to do, they can speak a different language. Let's say this guy is saying hi, this guy is also saying hi, and now the communication is good because they're speaking English, a universal language, right? So that's the same with the devices. If you have different devices, let's say cameras and VRs, for example, the recorders, and they have different protocols, you need to find a common protocol between them, right? This uh, cameras are connected to the NVR, connected to the router, to the laptop here in this network, for example, you're trying to configure your camera from manufacturer A and the NVR is from manufacturer B. So they don't communicate because they're using different protocol. So what you have to do is just use OnVIF. So you have OnVIF for manufacturer A and OnVIF for manufacturer B. And you also need to use the same profile, okay? Here, for example, you have profile S and also profile S. So be careful with that. You're using OnVIF Profile S and OnVIF Profile S. You have different profiles. You're gonna see that in a while, okay? So now the communication is good because they're using same protocol, same profiles. And let's talk now about OnVIF. What is OnVIF? It's a protocol. It was created by Axis, Bosch, and Sony back in 2008. And the forum, OnVIF is a forum. Is the name of the protocol. It's also a forum and has more than 500 members, okay? And more than 20,000 products that are confirmed with OnVIF. And the compatibility is according to the profiles. And here you have the profiles. The profile S is the basic one for video, audio, and PTC control. You have to have profile S for your cameras to communicate basically, basically with video and audio. Profile G for storage, and then profile key for network discovery. Profile S for the H.265 codec, you can compress more with this codec. Profile A for access control configuration, and then C for door control and event management. Profile D for access control peripherals, and M for metadata, okay? So pretty simple. So let's take a look here on the website, enough with the presentation. So if you have a device, you wanna know if it's on VIF conformant on it, you just need to come here to the website on vif.org, click here on conformant products and look for the product. You can select here if it's a device or a client, uh, the profile that you're looking for, or if you're looking for any profile available on the camera, just come here and select the manufacturer. Let's say Axis, for example, com Axis Communication, you just select it here, click search and wait for the search, okay? Let's just wait for a while and see how many products we have conformant for Axis Communication. So here you go, it takes some time, and now you see that Axis has 600 products that are on VIF conformant, okay? So you have Profile S, A, C, a lot of them, and also have Profile T for this camera, Profile G for this one, and a lot of them Profile S. So what I have to do is basically look for Profile S for most of the cameras. If you have a different cameras and recorders, you look for Profile S. Here's an example, I have an Axis camera. As you can see, let me just come back here to the image of the camera. So it's a camera, it's here on my lab, right? And then if you wanna know if the camera has OnVIF protocol, you just come here to system for this camera, of course, and here you see a OnVIF, okay? And you just need to enable OnVIF on this camera. Depending on the camera, OnVIF is already enabled. It's not for our camera, so you just need to come here, create a user, enable the protocol, and also, make some changes here depending on the NVR you're connecting this camera to, okay? For example, with uh, Hike Vision, I have another video here in this channel that shows how to connect an Axis camera to a Hike Vision NVR. You need to come here and also change some parameters here to get the camera working with uh, the NVR, with Hike Vision NVR. So different cameras and recorders, Axis and NVR, for example, a Hike Vision NVR can work together using OnVIF. And here I also have an example for high vision cameras. So you can come here on the configuration and also enable OnVIF for this camera. High vision also doesn't come with the uh, protocol enable. You need to come here and enable the protocol, right? So it's different for any device. You need to look for advanced settings here on high vision camera, for example, here on integration protocol. 
here you go enable on with okay and also have a, a different NVR here from the real link and here you have real link cameras connected to the NVR but I also have a high vision camera you can see here in my lab this camera is working with a real link in VR, even if they have different brands, all right? Because it's you're working with OnVIF. But pay attention to this. I was trying to connect an Axis camera to the real, real link in VR. It's not working. I can connect this Axis camera to my Hike Vision in VR, but I cannot connect with my real link in VR for some reason. So be careful with that. Um, OnVIF protocol sometimes doesn't work, even if I have this real link compliant with NV or with OnVIF and also I have my access camera compliant. It doesn't work here for some reason. I've been trying a lot, but sometimes you have this risk. Sometimes it doesn't work, okay? So there's also a different way you can test by using a software. Let's say, for example, you wanna test your cameras. You can use this OnVIF device manager. It's a free software. I have another video here in this channel explaining how it works, but basically you connect the software to your network. The, the software can find your NVRs and your cameras that are on VIF compliant. As you can see here, it found uh, the real link NVR, have the real link dual camera, also the access camera and the high vision camera. Everything working here on my network. And this software can show me that their camera are compliant, okay? So that's all for today. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. And I see you in the next one.